will function in, in that context. So uh, the short answer to your question is that uh, I don't think anybody has studied the epigenetic implications yet, uh, at least in any for another base pair. But the irony is that uh, standard genome editing methods, including the use of CRISPR-Cas9 nuclease, have difficulty correcting these single nucleotide polyps. And because of that, we can now start to collect uh, many, many individuals' uh, genomic information. Well, we know that technology is very powerful. It's basically a, a molecular scissors. We can cut DNA and make changes, but the, the, it's unclear how precise that cutting is. And so the worry is that you'd cut in places you don't want to cut, inactivating genes that are very important, or maybe changing the expression of genes that could predispose to other problems like cancer. So we're clearly still getting a grasp on the science. And then, of course, there are the broader, deeper societal questions of what kinds of conditions might this be used for? There's certainly more acceptance of the use for alleviating disease, alleviating suffering. But what about just disease risks? And what about traits that we might call enhancements? Should this be a technology that we use to affect a child's ultimate height, their skin color, maybe their various other traits? That on which uh, are the basis of much of our discussions. I think, um, as, especially because the technology is moving uh, so fast, uh, we really need to have open dialogues such as this uh, summit here, uh, as well as transparency uh, in the way that people are carrying out uh, their work. Um, and I think uh, as we push the technology forward, um, um, we already do see uh, scientists and, and also um, uh, medical professionals sort of collaborating together uh, to really put all their brains together to think about the best way and most responsible way to move it forward. And I think we need to uh, encourage more of that um, and, uh, and to make sure that we're really uh, doing the best we can uh, to get therapies developed um, responsibly and also quickly to, to get to the patients. Um, uh, greater investigation, uh, but there is enough of a diversity of cytosine DNA.